What's going on everybody, Andy the 14 here, and today we're going to be talking about the Punisher. So, oh shit, what is there to say? Um, it's a, uh, what is it we have, we've had so far on Netflix as part of the Marvel people, we've had Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and the culmination, the Defenders. And now, for the sixth one we have... The Punisher. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't watch uh, Jessica Jones or The Defenders. I I saw Luke Cage, Daredevil, and I saw two episodes of Iron Fist before I thought this is not for me, and I stopped. But The Punisher, it's a, it's a different story. So immediately, it's it's pretty good. Like it's just it's a it's a great it's a great story. I thought. The acting was good. All the action scenes are exactly what everybody wants. Just blood and shit going everywhere, you know. Not literal shit, but you know, blood, a lot of blood and, you know, body parts and guns and explosions and bombs and everything. Without spoiling anything, there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of side plots that really tie everything together nicely and really help the character development of many people. The, um, there's like there's like one twist I think one major twist that I that I saw that I caught on and I was like oh, 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 oh. kind of got me but like it's it's like I don't know if you would expect it but it was there let's turn on fucking ghost so I really appreciated what everything that the Punisher had to say you know it seems like <laughs> like half the cast like the director told them to like swallow a bag of pebbles or something cause like they all talk like this they're all like I don't even I, I, <laughs> they're, they're very uh, they talk very deep and very raspy it's kinda like that one guy in uh in the the hateful eight that the general the old general when he was like but I always respect this result it's like kinda like that you know it's like really fucking like like he's about to die or something. A lot of people do die in this in this uh in this series as you would expect from the Punisher. But I feel like everyone that died does I, I don't know. They they did everyone's death really well. That's what I'll say. Like everyone's like oh like some of them aren't expected and some of them are expected of course. But the ones that are expected, it's really satisfying to see them die. I won't, of course, no spoilers, but I'm just like, wow, yes, 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 you know, you get the adrenaline going through you, and you feel like you're really there, and then you just start, like, you know, grabbing your your knife at home, and you're just like, whoosh, 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 and you're chopping up all your your little, uh, your blankets and everything, I don't know, just as an, as an example, but, oh, that's how I don't know, yeah, John Bernthal, Back in the day when I was like in 8th grade, I could only see him as Shane. I was like, Shane? But we all know how that turned out. But now, as he's the Punisher, I can't really see him as Shane anymore. Like, he fits the bill really well. And, uh, yeah, he's just like the perfect soldier. And not like Captain America, but like, you know, he's, he's a really well-trained soldier who can best just about anybody in combat and uh, his backstory is really sad and that's how it's supposed to be you know that's like like in the comics but this didn't really go in as deep as like the comics did not like deep as in story-wise like all the important parts were there but just like deep as in like the dark shit like there was there was some dark shit in this series but the comics they're just there's some disturbing shit that happens in the comics that i i was kind of glad and like disappointed that they didn't bring it at the same time and I'm like oh I wanted this to happen but at the same time it's like if we if they really wanted to appeal to a mass audience would it be smart for them to put that specific scene in like just really horrendous things happening which I mean you know and at the end of the day money talks but I think they did a good job with this one can't wait to see if there's gonna be a second season or what's gonna happen or you know, he'll show up for Infinity War or something, just be like, oh, and then kill Darkseid with, like, a rocket launcher or something, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's 
a good a good time, you know? It was a good time. Overall, The Punisher, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10, would watch it again. So, that's my review. If you liked it, write a like, hit a comment. And if you didn't, well then, tough shit. With that being said, we're gonna bring this video to a close. This has been another episode of the Cookie Clicker Reviews with yours truly. Hope you have a great Sunday, and uh, yeah, don't drink and drive. Goodbye.